to be linked to a deadly shooting rampage at a Mississippi high school. A White House lawyer goes before a grand jury today to explain why it's taken so long to turn over <laughs> President Clinton's White House coffee talk tapes. See, Take now a the, guess. the good Darian and the bad Darian are dueling it out here over whether to <laughs> offer a speculation. Go ahead. No, 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 no. I'll be good. I'll be quiet. All right. You know, he's coming to Newark today, which is going to be the total mess. I know. And the day I have to drive to Newark Airport, he's going to have everything. Know. Oh, yeah. You know what Whitman should do? Whitman should put him on, on an Amtrak train. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> That's it. You yeah. want to get him involved in the Amtrak problem? Put him on a train. She might do that, but too. She should. Yeah. Anthony Hopkins, who played as such a great psycho in Silence of the Lambs, says he recently had surgery. Hopkins says they took out three pieces of his back, and he says he keeps them in his refrigerator. Further proof that food can be dangerous. <laughs> Would you like to see my back? Uh, just don't ask. <laughs> Further proof that food can be dangerous comes from San Diego, where Michael Ridge... I'm just thrilled he doesn't have hemorrhoids. <laughs> Uh, Michael Ridge was sentenced to eight months in prison for striking a boy on the head with a frozen chicken. Prosecutors <laughs> acknowledged that the incident was a mistake. Ridge was aiming at the boy's mother. Well, see? Yeah. You see, there's an explanation for everything. You ought to get yeah. ten years for bad aim. Sports is brought to you by the Cadillac Tri-Statesman, the Cadillac dealers of New York, New Jersey, and Connecticut. Game one of the National Championship Series saw the Florida Marlins defeat Atlanta Braves 5-3 to three last night. And it's game two of the American League Series tonight as the Indians take it to the Orioles in Baltimore. Scotty the Cop with traffic for Bob's great buys on brands you wear. Scotty. All right. In Newark, New Jersey, President Clinton will be arriving, as we've been talking about. You're arriving Newark God, Airport? God, that's going to be a nightmare. Oh, let's forget about it. I got it. caught in the motorcade last time. It was like three hours. It's oh. ridiculous. Yeah, it's, it's crazy when he comes to town. And he'll be coming in around 10 o'clock at Newark Airport. He'll spend the day in New Jersey. And then he'll be leaving sometime around 4.30 this afternoon. So watch those areas. And in Passaic County, New Jersey, eastbound Route 46, we have a multi-vehicle accident blocking the left lane near Route 3 in Little Falls. And in Queens, westbound Jackie Robinson Parkway, all lanes closed with an overturned vehicle. Long Island Railroad still reporting mainline service has been suspended both ways west of Hicksville. And train hit some debris, and now there's a fire on the tracks and a whole big mess out there. Inbound, George Washington Bridge will be 15, Lincoln will be 25, Holland 20. Upper and Lower East River crossings all looking pretty good right now. Wednesday, street cleaning rules are in effect today. And that's a look at your traffic. I'm Scotty the Cop. Partly sunny today. Highs in the mid-70s. 62 degrees in New York City at Q104.3. Minute after eight, Barry Nolan from Hard Copy. Great dirt. Oh, Great fabulous. dirt. Because, you know, the reason he bailed on us yesterday is he flew out and got the scoop from uh, the bitey and the and, Marv Albert scoop. Oh, and we're going to get it before anybody yeah, else Yeah, exactly. Does. We're getting <laughs> the scoop. And then Peter Max is coming in later, which I'm really looking forward to. I want him to draw me. He Except will. Except I always see him in the morning when I look like... <laughs> Okay, uh, a vision. That's, <laughs> that's it. it. Yeah. 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 Like, a, a, in your, like a painting. Your that's, that's what I meant. Yeah. yeah. Uh huh. A fistful of fury. 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 And a mouthful of microphone. No tool. Fury and no tool on WAXQ 104.3, New York's classic rock station. New York's classic rock station, Q104.3, 808, Darian O'Toole, Sean Kelly, and Barry Nolan, as you, you'll know him. From hard copy. Hard copy guy. Yeah, he's been here five minutes. He's already destroyed my life. <laughs> I know. I do, because I do. I chew out. Everybody's got to have the, you know, some people, some celebs, it's green M&Ms. Mm -hmm. Some people, it's big offices, you know, plush limos, whatever. For me, it's ice. Ice. Chew ice. That's and it. he tells me it's because I'm bleeding to death or something. No. Because I've only heard two theories. Had... Sexual frustration and iron deficiency, which a case could be made on, on both counts for me, <laughs> especially at this particular stage. You need to have sexual you can see I'm a little white here. here. Yeah. Whitest You're a very woman pale in the world. person, yeah. No, I'm porcelain skin. Screw you. <laughs> <laughs> on the West Coast, I'm pale. On the East Coast, I'm alabaster. The hell with you. That's what, you know, that is what I and meant to say. And when you're 60, you you'll be a wizened old prune, you L.A. moron. Such a kind way. <laughs> <laughs> so this is the happy show you see. Yeah. Here. This is good. Yeah. This is the light and fluffy woman. Is this woman. in a good mood? The woman, yeah. yeah, this is actually. Cut her on a good day. Actually, this yeah. is Darian yeah. in a good mood. It is. She is in a remarkable mood. Sadly enough, this mood. is Darian happy. <laughs> you're one of our favorites, though. We've, we've had a long-standing relationship with you. You come on and, and yap with us all the time you, we, in San Francisco. When well, there. San Francisco. Francisco, it seems, was a place that really loved to hear about odd people. I don't know what it is about San Francisco, but well, it's people, San Francisco is the birthplace of odd people. People uh, keep doing odd things. I'm so. so happy to be back in the East Coast. Now, are you an, originally an East Coaster or West Coaster? Yeah, I'm on the East Coast. To me, this is where life feels normal. Oh yeah. And I people did like are it. real here. They're honest. They tell you they hate you to your well, you face. Know, I like that. Up in New England, where I consider my home, I, I figured I, there was this natural system where if you didn't have your act together, mm -hmm. in the wintertime, you just died. Yeah, <laughs> precisely. So they don't have that in California. In the wintertime... No. They don't you, know. 
They get rain. They get a, they get a, an inch of rain and they stay home. You know, I live over in Santa Monica, and uh, uh, I was there during. Oh, the, I take a hostage when we had the big earthquake, the <laughs> the Northridge earthquake. My exit on the the Santa Monica freeway fell down, collapsed where I got <laughs> off, and so for a while, you know, they rebuilt it in ama with amazing speed. But for a while, it took me extra long time to get to work. It took instead of thirty minutes, it took about forty five minutes for me to get to work. Right when it rains. It oh, takes yeah. longer to get to work than when the earthquake destroyed the freeway. Oh, Californians, <laughs> it's true. Californians it are such down. morons in down. rain. It's well, absolutely it's amazing. They're since, so stupid. That when it rained the other day, it was the first time it rained in 221 days. And it upsets their aura. But know. it's also because the rain that we take for granted constantly washes away all that grunge and right, dog exactly. stuff and oil and antifreeze. It collects on the freeways. Well, it all just sits there, exactly. like freeze-dried like slime. Exactly. It's just waiting for the first rain. Exactly. It's a skating rink. So yeah. uh, it is. They they do have a point. It is kind of treacherous. Yeah, I know, but I hate a California. <laughs> <laughs> I did really well there because they were just you know really afraid of me. Well, with your porcelain skin, you just don't look like a surfer. No. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not blonde. I don't have fake boobs. I just did not belong in California. You know, and I'm opinionated. Like, you you you. Duh, have the, I'm really you know, afraid it, of this. It, 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 Alicia I'm so. Witt. Who? Alicia Witt. You know who that is? Who's That's Alicia the one Witt? that plays the daughter in uh, the one with uh, Sybil Shepherd. She plays this. Wow, that's good. I like that one. Yesterday I got Meg Ryan and I was like, ooh, I'm going to pay you money. <laughs> Alicia Witt has that same. I, I met her when she was five years old. I was doing a. Do I look like her at five or no, as, you as look an adult? Her as oh, an okay. adult. She was five Alicia years old up in, up in New England and she was this little genius. At five years old, she was reading the New York Times and quoting oh, Shakespeare. I'm familiar with her. Yeah, she's funny too. And I met her and I said, that's such pretty red hair you have. She goes, it's teaching red. <laughs> At five. Mine's copper frost. Okay. <laughs> Is that a clear? But other than that, we're dead color? ringers. Yeah, it's yeah, a color from nature, yeah. too. Yeah. yeah. Well, I've heard. And yeah. smart. Yeah, mm -hmm. heard. yeah. I only know that because the nail color matches. Because, <laughs> of course, it's natural. The nail Shut color? up, Barry. <laughs> <laughs> no, I've seen your toenails. I know these. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, this is actually the first time we met in person. This is really yeah, a delight. This is fun. It's, this always, is fun. it's always interesting to meet somebody whose voice you are familiar with and you formed a picture of them. That's right. There you go. And then were you, were you thinking Alicia Witt? <laughs> no, well, you know, <laughs> when I showed up, you had clothes on, so. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Well, actually, no. That's why I was in the bathroom when you got here. <laughs> oh, okay. Ah, damn, we got a guest. I got to get out of the teddy. <laughs> <laughs> I hate it when we have people come in live. Uh, okay, yeah. now let's get hey, to the... speaking of people in their underwear. Okay. Uh, this is the Marv story? This is the Marv story. That's oh. why, uh, oh, you know, right. the, See, the thing I'm not shamelessly hawking is the story with Vanessa tonight. You know, I am the one woman on Marv's side. I well, just don't buy it. I, you know, I said it, I said it the other day. You know, two bites, okay. That I'll buy. Two bites, maybe. But by the 13th bite, she could have reached around, grabbed him by the squirrel pelt, and squashed him like a stink bucket. <laughs> <laughs> and, there's, and then her story Ooh. is that after that, <laughs> after he bit her 13 times, yeah. then, then... He forces the uh, the oral or, sex yeah part. the oral sex after he's introduced biting. I'm thinking no, my and she's got an overbite. Please, uh, my cameraman and I were talking about we were down at the trial and never he, happened. He goes, you know, I've never. There's no way possible to force a woman in that situation to have oral sex if she doesn't want. And he pauses a minute and then he goes, well, there's jewelry. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Well, and, and real estate. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Don't forget real estate. But it, it's it really was, is me chewing ice, by the way, this noise. It, it People was, think I'm kidding. It was interesting Excuse to me. meet her because you realize, number one... Is she stupid? No, well, You know, the stupid. other thing, the other thing, before we get to the dirt, the other thing that gets me about this is that she didn't complain. I mean, this is a woman who had a long... Now, correct me if I'm wrong. Mm -hmm. It may be. I often am. Well... Rarely. <laughs> okay. So she she had a long standing sexual relationship with him, yes, right? She did. So it's not like she was going up there to play Scrabble, let's face no, it. No, there know, was okay, the yeah. implied Yeah. You're going there at one AM, yeah. Hmm. Do you think he's interested in sex? They've hmm. done this before. Perhaps. Yeah. So something went wrong. I believe that. I believe maybe that, you know, it didn't go the way she wanted. But then she tried to call him and he never called her back. And she said that she was pissed that he never called her back. So it seems like it's the post rape etiquette that, that causes the problems, not the actual a night events of the no, evening. But remember she It's like the whole Tyson thing. There was he the didn't walk me to the car, so I'm suing. <laughs> there was the nine one one call that night. And if you listen to that nine one one call, she's in tears. She's obviously very upset in the nine one one call. Yeah, but I but think But you could not have convicted him on but that. She's a woman. We cry in AT and T <laughs> commercials for Except God's that sake. Tom Hanks thing. There's no crying in baseball. <laughs> 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 
Could but, have just been a bad night, and she thought you'd just screw I, him over. I think you're right that I don't buy based it. on based on her testimony alone, he never would have been convicted yeah. by that jury beyond a reasonable Absolutely. doubt. Remember, that's the criteria. And she, and she paid the cabbie fifty thousand bucks. No, she did not pay the cabbie. The cabbie offered said, the cabbie. The cabbie the cabbie brought up that subject, and she says, you know, that if you if the cabbie were really a straight shooter, this is her story. If the cabbie were really a straight shooter. He would have gone to the prosecution or the police, not gone to the defense attorneys with this story, and then get a tape recorder and go back and try and elicit testimony, uh, you know, conversation <laughs> on her part that supports yeah, it. That's, a valid that's point. what she says. Yeah, he wanted a hundred grand. He's like, well, <laughs> you know, Inside Edition will give me. <laughs> I mean, hard copy. Sorry. Oh no, no. Whoops. Whoops. Inside Edition. So they're the bad guys. The Globe will give me plenty. Yeah. I can just get a stewardess and Kathy Lee Gifford. <laughs> <laughs> Well, so yeah. you, so what do you, so what's your take Would on you it? You be my matter? agent. That's a good absolutely. bargain there. Absolutely. Uh, my take on it is that uh, you matter what she like. She number one, she's more attractive than the newspaper pictures would have led you to believe. She's slim. Well, sure, you, you, you take the black dot off her face. Who doesn't look better? <laughs> I mean, come on. Right away. <laughs> but no, you've seen pictures of her yeah, without not, the fuzziness. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you, you, know, it's, you, you just think, what was he thinking? Yeah, because I saw her. Yeah, there was one he there. He must have been she, really bored. Well, there was one picture there where she was wearing, yeah, like a like a bright neon green yeah. spandex jumpsuit. And I was thinking, yeah. now, you know, admittedly, spandex is a stretchy fabric, but... Honey, it is governed by the laws of physics. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Think it through before you're going to be in front of the National Enquirer. But she was. She Not is that I mean, old men were Miss America. Miss, I'm no, just saying. No, if you're no. going to be. Just making a point. Did you find her intelligent? She. Um she does not have a great deal of formal education, but she is a, a reasonably bright person. Dumb as a post, huh? But No, not dumb as a post, but she is the sort of person that you believe flattery and male attention could very easily manipulate. You know, we've yeah, all see, met people, we, and you've we, met men scorned, like that. Woman scorned, woman scorned. I'm still, I still think that, I, I think the guy got a bum rap. I, I, seriously, I have a million dollar bounty up for him. He wants to well, come in and do sports, we'll give him a million bucks. We, we Jimmy DeCastro uh, will pay him a million dollars. <laughs> right, big, Jimmy? The big guy. Out of his own pocket. A million dollars. Jimmy, that's well, D-E-C. Yeah. <laughs> we, he would never have been convicted if no. her testimony was all. But the, he just didn't he want to He got bad advice to because he gave incomplete statements well, to his lawyer. Sure, because he didn't want him to know about the matching bra and panties. He didn't tell his lawyer and his family that he's a sexual all the deviant. stuff about <laughs> that he'd been doing. Oh, by the and way. And he hears that they have this, this <laughs> line of witnesses stretching out to the crack of doom that are going to come in <laughs> talking about him. In a teddy singing show tunes, exactly. and saying, enough. I love Whatever, it. I my, quit. My favorite is the story about the woman from the hotel who he called up to fix the fax machine, and he's standing there in the green undies and the garter belt. <laughs> and she goes over and, and fixes the fax machine like it's nothing. And she escaped by stealing his toupee. I love that. Well, that... <laughs> You, you've enhanced it at just a touch. Well, but it's funnier was, my way. It is funnier your way. It's funnier this way. I like it. I like it, yeah. The, the That's moment why I'm in priceless. New York and you're in Santa Monica. The hell with you. The <laughs> heightened reality. The heightened reality. I like that. The the moment that was really great of that was stand. I happened to be standing out in the hallway when court recessed after that second witness, uh, the, uh, P.J. Masden, the one right. that talked about the toupee. And <laughs> it was, was like this scene question. from this made-up Saturday night version oh, of yeah. the front page. It's All hysterical. these reporters come busting through the door, everybody reaching for their cell phone or going for the phone with their little notepads in their hand going, man, I can't believe this. I know. It's, it's, you couldn't make this oh, up. No, you couldn't write this stuff. And then all the reporters, after they phone into the desk, they all get in this little oh, gaggle the and they're guy. all going, no, wait a minute. I got to check that. I got to make sure I got this. Yeah. Like, did she, she say? Did really grab did, the two and Did you get this? She said, and they're all doing this. And then here comes <laughs> Mr. Albert walking down this hallway past all these people and this look on his face he's trying to summon all the dignity he could muster i know and I, you, you, there was just this moment of deja vu when you go I know the look. I know. I know. It's the look you had when you walked past the locker in the high school. There you and all go. The kids and you know you're you going to be stuffed in. You're going, <laughs> oh, there it is. Exactly. And you, you know, you acted like... I'm just walking down the That road. must have been the longest walk of his life. Oh. And, the, and the whole time with a red throng riding up the crack of his butt. <laughs> <laughs> the poor man. I do. I feel sorry for the man. I really, because I think comfortable? what happened is that I think he just, he was like, okay, we don't want any more of this getting out. Enough. Make a deal. You know I'm not doing any jail time. Settle. We don't need people to know that I've got battery-operated devices anywhere. <laughs> we don't want the inflatable woman to come forward. But in, in some ways, it, it, it was good that perhaps now, uh, nobody should have their little idiosyncrasy. 
idiosyncrasies held against them. If you want to dress <laughs> little up in, idiosyncrasies in a teddy, dress up in a teddy. Yeah, exactly. What he failed to do, what his problem was, what he was he was engaging in behavior that hurt other people. Whether it be P.J. Mazden, the woman that came up to fix the fax machine, but or she even said though that she wife. wasn't afraid of him. But it's it's. I mean, not, she thought it was a joke. He kept she engaging in behavior that was disturbing, harmful, or painful to other people. Well, annoying. Including his annoying, wife. Annoying, at least. He was yeah. married when yeah. he was doing a lot of this stuff. He yeah. was engaged when he was doing a lot of this stuff. Plus, we had two hookers that passed the lie detector test that said wow, back 10, 10 15 itself. years ago. Yeah. <laughs> what do they have to lie about? You should, get a, you should get some sort of prize just for that. What are hookers going to lie about? They say, I'm a hooker. Yeah, what you right. got in there? What are you going to do? And, you know, I that. wear mismatching socks. What are you, you know, you're going to be ashamed of that. But anyway, we administer a lie detector test. They say Marv used to come to them 10, 15 years ago, sometimes two, three times a week back when he was married. Well, wow. this is not great behavior to be engaged in when you're married. It's hurtful to your family. It's hurtful to your wife. It's hurtful to you to be going to a prostitute like that, I think. And he has... It's probably not a... Well, considering Marv Albert's aesthetics, <laughs> yeah. not much fun for the hooker either, frankly. Well, you know... <laughs> Not a they, walk in the park for, for Trixie either. The, the worst part in the trial room really was the uh, when Roy Black violated that law that lawyers have for themselves. Never ask a question that you don't know the answer. Exactly. And she, he was saying, well, you made all this up from what you knew on TV. You knew from reading in the newspapers that he has a wig, didn't you? And she goes, no, look at it. <laughs> no, there's a clear line of demarcation. Come on, that thing is dead. It all moves together. <laughs> <laughs> William Shatner looks like he's natural <laughs> compared to him. Oh. Poor Mar You know what's interesting to me, fascinating to me, is that Letterman, who I idolize, worship, want to spawn with, has not touched it. Well, everyone in the world is doing. But where do you go with it? I mean, you know, in a radio thing, you you have the luxury of uh, sort of. Yeah. Uh, uh, it's yeah. like. That Ooh, yes. banjo thing and uh, uh -huh. the thing about having sex on the river, the Burt Reynolds movie. Yeah, it's Deliverance. dueling, yeah. Yeah, exactly. it's dueling, dueling bite yeah. wisecracks. That's true. But uh, on TV, where do you go? That it's so absurd. But everyone else is. I mean, Conan and Leno, and but I mean, Letterman. I really think because 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 Marv Albert was always. Uh, that's yeah. how I don't know Marv Albert from sports. I know him from Letterman. Mm -hmm. And I wonder how he's, you know... That's well, it must be very painful to the people that, that knew and respect him because he's an enormous talent. The, the ability and right to after Gifford. I mean, geez, he's oh. sports guy. The, much more, the, the announcers are much more interesting than the players. <laughs> well, also, it, when you have a life and you're, that requires you to be in hotel rooms, unwrapping your glasses to get a drink of water and living <laughs> yeah, like that, exactly. and being sort of wired at 11 o'clock after a big game, right. and you live that sort of... Strange diurnal rhythm. Hey, you're going to put a on panties. Time. Sure. Yeah, well, that's how I kill the time. That's how me too. Larry. That and I've the, been known. you know, the in-room movies, and uh, you're having a party. Yeah, Personally, I, mean, I go for the pumps. Yeah, you look lovely in pumps. You're not a hat guy. <laughs> you mean the shoes you pump up, the the date you pump up, or the which? Yeah, don't even uh, don't don't tempt me because there's a good Darian and the bad Darian. <laughs> good Darian, what an oxymoron that is. It is. <laughs> so now she's going to be on tonight on Hard Copy. She's on tonight. It's an exclusive. It, Look, well, how'd you, how'd you mail that? What'd you do? We have this really how much wonderful you pay her? person. No, uh, we didn't pay her. How anything. much you pay her? We there was a small contribution made to a non foundation. Oh, kiss my ass! Foundation. How much did you pay? No, her? absolutely. A non profit foundation, the Virginia, the Virginia Institute of Virginia. <laughs> no, her name's <laughs> Vanessa. Whatever. The way we got the interview was we have this woman that works. You ought to meet her sometime. She works in our L.A. office and she helps set meet up. Meet her? Stories. Nothing. I should hire her. Her name and she <laughs> is the daughter of Serpico. Really? Yeah. And she was raised, she grew up in oh. the witness protection plan and wow. knows how strangely you publicity and uh, trials and all that kind of stuff can affect the family. And she's just wonderful at establishing a rapport with people. Because, you know, everybody, every TV show, every newspaper outlet has somebody that works at the desk that calls up people in the news and says, oh, you've got to talk to our reporter because, you know, they're nice to their grandmother. They cut the meat for their, you know, for little widows. Yeah, those are the, the lies they always tell about me. I'm yes. just, I'm staring so sweet. Come on the show. She'll be nice to you. She's so sweet. That's what they told me. <laughs> yeah, I know. But you're still here. Yeah, well, yeah. Cause See, I grew coffee. on you. you got to tell New York. I grow on them. You do. Yeah, the, it takes the, a while. The guy, Bob, that listens to your station will grow to like you very much. You'll bond. <laughs> so the ratings came out yesterday. Bob's gone. No. <laughs> Ouch. The well, you know, maybe. But it's a new... Re maybe it's vacation. <laughs> it's new and improved and lemon fresh. It's a whole new era. <laughs> we have tremendous talent. We have tremendous music on all day. We have tremendous... And we were winning. I like, like the music. Trust listen, me. You know, I, when I, I, I am new to New York, so yeah. I, I haven't... The problem is the station's been schizophrenic. It's been through 8,000 incarnations, but now what we have... What were some of the incarnations? Oh, it was classical for... Well, I mean, you can see that 
the station, you see what we've inherited here. Yeah. The new company is wonderful, but they bought this dump. I'm seriously going to take you back because nobody believes me. We live in Cancer Alley back here. <laughs> so is this old black. Lennon Sisters poster from current airport? Oh, I'm isn't it hysterical? Really? I mean, he's not kidding. I mean, it's, it's, it's hysterical. Nothing works, and it's a, it's a joke. But it's not the fault of the people that are here now. Yeah. It's, it's just been screwed These up. These people by, are committed to old, be the best. Yeah, the old people, right, exactly. So it's just, yeah, that's we're making clear that it's that it's the new and improved Lemon Fresh Q104.3. Starting from scratch. And, yeah, and we won't be going all Korean polka tomorrow. <laughs> we're doing anything bizarre like that. Nothing's you know, going to happen. I happen to have a couple of favorites. Korean well, packages. I know. I, I suspected. I suspected. So, what do you, are you? Are you on Marv's side or are you on Vanessa's side? You know, I, in some ways, I'm on. I'm on both sides. Um, do you feel sorry for him? I feel very sorry for Marv Albert because he was a man who had an enormous talent. You know, it's not. He, he was. Talented. It's a. It's a yeah. real gift to be able to see a game, to be able to describe it, mm -hmm. call the color, keep everything straight, have the memory for the players and the history. That's and the, amazing. The meaning of itself. things. He really is a terribly gifted man. And also keep people focused on what he's saying when he's eight feet shorter than the two people around him. <laughs> oh yeah. Because that's and distracting. He was a great record. Sometimes tournament. he was completely out of the shot when he, he was doing his commentary. <laughs> well, he could just see that squirrel. Pack. Yeah. Yeah. To spend your life talking to other people's cojones, you know. Yeah. It's, it's good stuff. Tell me. Well, maybe Tell that's me. what he's <laughs> him. That was Honey, first don't I know? The microphone experience. It's the foundation of my career. <laughs> and personal life, frankly. <laughs> so that's going to be on tonight. So he's a terribly gifted guy. And the, the victim, in this case, Vanessa, is somebody... Oh, victim will, my ass. The complainant is somebody that we will all recognize. The bitey. The bitey, the bite receiver, <laughs> will be somebody that you will all recognize somebody like this in your personal life who is e easily manipulated she's nuts she ch didn't she stalk like eight of her ex-boyfriends i, I asked her about is a that nut case. I, I said did you have bad luck or bad choices in your in your love life and she's she a nutcase I, I think she is a troubled person, and she says she came from a she's relationship. She's a nutcase. Come on, Barry. Come on. Say it with me. She's well, a nutcase. I think she needs work on her self-esteem. She's a nutcase. <laughs> self-esteem, my ass. So she needs a Prozac the size of a football, and we all know it. <laughs> <laughs> Every boyfriend she ever had, she did some screwed-up thing to after she he dumped says, her. She says that uh, <laughs> it was the boyfriend's fault that one threw a brick through her window, and the other did something bad. And yeah, and they, and they normally herself. do. The, yeah, and they normally that's the typical reaction of a guy when they break. Guys don't care. They keep moving. You have to do something really bizarre to get a guy to throw a brick through no, the window. It, it, it Even is true, I can't incite proud. that kind of action. I am not proud to see some of the representatives of my fair sex out there that are, you know, stock people that, that can't give it up, that can't move on. And that there are nutty guys out there. The, the thing no, that suggests she has I a problem so. is her. that if she continues to choose nutty guys, that suggests, even if it's yeah. all the guy's fault, if you choose one bad guy after another, right. you have a problem yourself. Gosh, it's, it's not a, just luck. It's just That's so it's it's just so hard to picture Marv Albert as an ominous sexual predator. Ninety nine. I mean he's like a prototype for a person. It's like this is what the sportscaster will look like. Of course he'll be life size <laughs> <laughs> when we make the real one. I mean he, it's just very difficult to it's he's such a it's always the when it's a, always the geeks. When a story <laughs> like this comes out, one of the things that it's gets blown so out of proportion funny. is that ninety nine percent of a person's life can be there a great person, a, a wonderful friend. He tells great stories on the Letterman show. He's good to his father and mother. And he's, he's a nerd. Everybody his, who works with him says he's a total nerd. And he's a he gifted guy, but yeah. this 1% of his life is just bent. Is so and that petty. comes to represent his whole life. So and that's unfair to Marv, but he does have a problem recognizing he's engaging repeatedly. Oh, he's, a, so, oh, he's a freak. Oh, he's a freak, too. I'm not saying he's not a nutcase. I just feel sorry for him because I think that this particular case, I don't, I don't think... I, I just think it went the wrong way. Well, I know. One I don't of think the, the jury would have convicted him. I, I, you know, Bill O'Reilly, who used to work on Inside Edition, when he left, he thought about. What a he, voice he, Barry he has! I'm a little dewy. Mm, I noticed. <laughs> Listen to those dulcet Did You guys, tones. give us a few moments alone. Yeah, yeah. Get, get out. Ya. Get um, out. Bill O'Reilly, when it's he was the matching bra and panties that he's wearing, <laughs> it really does it for me. It's, you know, I did something. You know, our fax machine's today. not working. <laughs> <laughs> Bite I'm sorry, me. Bill. Somebody. Okay. Yeah. Right. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. So Bill O'Reilly left Inside Edition, and he said he was going to run for the. He might run for the Senate, and I thought. Jeez, I don't know if that's realistic. <laughs> but then I thought, would I ever run for public office? And I thought, oh, are you kidding? No. Who would ever want oh, your I know. personal life examined in that kind of detail? My life would certainly not withstand it. I no, my, 
mine, oh, God, mine either. Just as it is. <laughs> Just as it is, my personal life. It's pathetic I mean, as it is. Yeah. yeah. I, mean, I grew really. up in the 60s, you know, so I oh, was out so there. Oh, you got big trouble. To get yeah. your citizenship card, you had to do dope back then. Well, <laughs> yeah. see, uh, yeah, I don't go. want that paraded around. <laughs> <laughs> don't want God anybody knows. to know that. <laughs> Whoops. Uh, You're the only one I like on hard copy. Oh, the, I'm well, sorry. Terry that, Murphy is, is oh, she's a pimp. Oh, she's... And she's going through a very difficult touch. She's going through a divorce. Oh, is she? And it's a very difficult time, and she's she's a she's a funny person. She's got that she's wicked funny? sense of humor. She's got a it wicked sense of humor. It does not come across in the air. See, it's, you are very funny. He she does not come across as funny. Well, me. see, Terry has the pressure on her. Of, uh, she's some on the air. Some people are funnier off Hollywood. the air than they are on. Yeah, the air. some people are yeah. just like that, and some people are the same. And you and I, we're the same on the air as we are off the air. Terry is body too off the air. She, you believe me? I don't so, know what that means, but uh, <laughs> uh, funny with sexual overtones. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I thought you meant she's oh she's body B A W. No, no, like she's got a, a, I thought you no. meant she's body. She's, I thought you meant like talking a, head she's body. Got a whole body. Uh, yeah, yeah, I was gonna say. Yeah. <laughs> oh, so she's not an inflatable she, dummy. Yeah. Like she I thought. She washed herself with It's not done with mirrors. She's, got a lot of <laughs> she's B A W D Y. Okay. <laughs> she, really? No, now you would fun. never know that. See, she should let that loose. Well, uh, th the thing that's strange about hard copy is they want you to you know act like such grown ups, and uh, that's why Isn't I wear a suit and tie and. Because some of this stuff, the guy that did it the best. Because you're doing such hard news. <laughs> Sometimes we do. We've, we've broken a lot of stuff. It's know. important to be in a Marnie suit when you're going through someone's trash. <laughs> yeah, I don't do that. <laughs> Not anymore. No, yeah. You know, I used to be a psychiatrist. Jerry Pinnacoli does that now. <laughs> <laughs> He's the trash guy. The, I used to be a psychiatric social worker. <laughs> so one of the reasons training. they send me out a... Yeah, it, it's important to no be wonder able to ask people... You're so screwed up. <laughs> ...without being judgmental. Uh, you know, I used to work in this large state psychiatric hospital, and people that were going through florid psychoses would be wow. in my office, and you'd be talking about, well, how long have you felt that your ghost of your father was trying to bore holes in your head to let the bugs out? <laughs> oh, do you have numbers? Do you have yeah. contact numbers? Yeah, we call I them. love those people. <laughs> oh, it's... Set, you know, I love those people. People that are... I had one of those earlier this morning. Floridly psychotic. Are, are just I love psychotics. Yeah. Well, it, it's interesting. But they the, don't the first... know that they're psychotic, so they're no. happier than the rest of us. They're winning. <laughs> they really are. You might have made a, a very interesting no, psychiatric seriously. social worker. Uh, yeah, I, I would. Oh, can you imagine me as a therapist? <laughs> promoting Woo psychosis. Yeah. Woo it's an interesting approach to the whole field of mental yeah. health. Oh, yeah. But you have to be able I'm, to I'm all for people. the bipolar. <laughs> yeah. I, I don't find that as a surprise for some reason. <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> now, what other gossip do you have for me? Anything else juicy? Um, I, I have had no chance to look up since I got the call late last yeah, this has you know, been the, taken the night before to go down to uh, talk to Vanessa. And we went down there and spent that whole day. And then we're you know, getting that story ready for tonight. And uh, then I'm going out to play golf in uh, San Diego for, uh, to raise money for women's... OJ? No. <laughs> you know what I found out? What? OJ, uh, my son is, one of my sons is six years old, and his best buddy Ian, his dad, pulls me over the other day, and he goes, I got to tell you this, the woman that does my hair, <laughs> that, that's odd coming from this big Irish guy, <laughs> the woman that does my hair took off on vacation with her girlfriend, they go out to Los Angeles, and of course, they've got to go on the most popular tourist thing out there, yeah. <laughs> they go to OJ's Isn't house. Sick? And they go to O.J.'s house, and they're standing around taking pictures, and the bodyguard comes up to chat him up because of two attractive women standing there. And it's